Out on another hike in Europe. We're in Heidelberg, Germany. As usual, let's do another question. So let's find the inverse of y equals 5x minus 4 over x plus 3. Now, this one's a little bit more challenging because notice that we have two x values that we're dealing with on the right side here and remember when we're finding the inverse what we have to do is interchange the x and y values and now isolate for the two new y values on the right side and that's what makes it tough is because we have to isolate for two new y values so how are we going to do that well what we could do is we can cross multiply and so what we would end up with is x bracket y plus 3 is equal to 5y minus 4. And then what we could do is we could distribute that x inside the bracket. So we would end up with xy plus 3x. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to take all of the expressions that have a y value attached to it and bring it to one side. So that xy on the left side, I'm going to bring it over to the right side. And then the negative 4, I'm going to bring over to the left side. And so at this point, what we would end up with is 3x plus 4 on the left side and then 5y minus xy on the right side. And then on the right side, what we could do is we could factor out that y value because notice that it's a common variable in both expressions. We factor out the y value. What are we left with in the bracket? 5 minus x. And so now notice that we switch this from there being two y values to now there only being one y value. And so now we just literally have to isolate for that y value. So we got to divide both sides by what's attached to that y value, which is that bracket 5 minus x. So we divide both sides, then the 5 minus x's would cancel out on the right side. And so we have isolated for the y that is equal to 3x plus 4 over 5 minus x. And so that ends up being the inverse. So we started with a rational function. The inverse of it is a rational function as well. And then sometimes you'll see that symbol or that notation used for inverses f to the negative 1x. And so you would just write f to the negative 1x is equal to 3x plus 4 over 5 minus x. You got your inverse. Anyway, hopefully that helped you out. It's a common question that students hit me up with because of those two y values to isolate. Usually you only have one of them to isolate for. When you have two, the algebraic process requires a little bit more manipulation, but overall, not too bad. So hopefully you got some value from this. If you did get some value, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Really helps me out. If you want to see more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. For this specific course, you can go to the description box. It will take you to this specific course where the videos are organized by chapter by sections and then there's also tests at the end of each chapter that I've collected from different students and made video solutions for. And then in addition, if you feel like you need tutoring for the course, you can also hit me up. All my contact details are on the website. You could text me, you could email me, whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.